Here we're looking at silver maple. The maples have been moved into the Sapindaceae family. You might find some references online or in older books that are referenced as Aceraceae, but it has been moved into the Sapindaceae family. Maples are in the Acer genus, and this specific epitaph is Sacaharnum. So Acer Sacaharnum is silver maple. Let's take a closer look at some of its features. Silver maple bark is distinct from some of the other maples in that it has long, gray, flat, and relatively thin texture to it. When it is very young, it'll just be a smooth gray color and can be extremely difficult to tell the difference between silver maple and red maple. Maples are oppositely arranged, similar to the ash, or plants in the genus Fraxinus. So here we have a leaf and another leaf. Remember, we know it's a leaf because as the petiole, the leaf stem, ends, there's a bud right where it attaches to the twig. Now this is still growing, and so the twig here we see as green, which is very common for new vegetative tissue. As it goes later into the summer and fall, this will turn into more of a red-brown in color. And then in subsequent years, that red-brown might start to turn into more of a gray color to match the color of the bark on the trunk. Leaves can vary a bit in both size and how many lobes, but this is fairly typical. We might think of this as having three main lobes and then two smaller lobes near the base. It's also coarsely toothed. So silver maple has, when it's healthy, has a nice, very uh, dark green coloring. But on the back side of the leaf, we see that it has the silvery white color here you can just start to see the buds forming. The buds on silver maple and some for red maple will form a group and it'll be a small red globe of multiple buds grouped together. That group of buds is typically where the flowers are formed the following spring and that's where the seeds would arise from. An end or terminal bud that you might see would be smaller and typically just singular on the stem. The seed of a silver maple are paired samaras. In really older texts you might see it listed as a schizocarp, but a samara is a seed with a little wing. Some might be familiar with the helicopters where in the spring they flutter down. Silver maples as well as red maples produce their seed in the spring to get a sense of the structure of silver maple, here's its base, starting at the trunk flare, which on silver maple can be quite large. Silver maple is often a riparian species, mean, meaning it's found along riverways. If we go up the trunk, we can see that it tends to fork or branch out relatively quickly, making it another decurrent species. These can have quite a broad and strong crown, typically with many. This tree only has two leaders or trunks as it breaks off from the ground, but it's not uncommon to see three or four. Stepping back a little bit, we can get a sense of the form and overall size of the tree. Silver maple, when well maintained, can make an excellent shade tree. The fall color on silver maple is typically a yellow color.